Welcome to NCDOT Now. I'm Julia Merchant. Across North Carolina, IMAP is going red. Incident Management Assistance Patrol, or IMAP, are switching out the amber lights on their vehicles with bright red ones. The change is being made so that IMAP vehicles will be more visible to motorists on the road. Since 2009, 21 IMAP vehicles have been struck by motorists who failed to yield or move over for IMAP trucks. In addition to the lights, large red stripes are being added to the back of the vehicles. IMAP operators patrol North Carolina roads to help enable smooth traffic flow by aiding stranded motorists, detecting and verifying incidents, providing temporary traffic control, and assisting in roadway clearance and with disabled vehicles. The change should take place over the next few months. To help educate motorists on the dangers IMAP drivers face, NCDOT has produced a video featuring IMAP Field Training Officer David Lynn. On July 12, 2010, Lynn barely escaped injury when his parked IMAP vehicle was struck by a truck. And whether it's just tagging an abandoned car, moving debris, changing a tire, it boils down to every time you step out, that might be the last time you step out. Building bridges, designing roads, and preparing plans for new ferries were a few of the jobs introduced to female students from Wake County during Introduce a Girl to Engineering Day, February 24th. Introduce a Girl to Engineering Day is part of National Engineers Week 2011. It aims to educate girls about the engineering profession. Nationwide, women make up less than 10% of the engineering workforce. That equals to slightly more than 200,000 women engineers out of more than 2 million employed. Out of nearly 1,700 engineers employed at NCDOT, Less than 300, or 17%, are women. Since the event began nationwide 10 years ago, it has helped women engineers introduce more than 1 million girls to engineering. This is the sixth year that NCDOT has hosted the event. For these stories and much more, visit ncdot.gov. That's all for this edition of NCDOT Now. We'll see you next time.